I drift because I feel like it's one of the only motorsports out there where you are based on and judged on style. You know, it's like, uh, you know, you go around the track, you put the fastest lap time, that's great. But like past that, you don't have a lot of bragging rights except being the fastest. Well, in drifting, you can be the fastest, you can have the most style, drive with the most angle, and the whole social and actual content creation out of it. You know, you can build yourself to be however you want it to be. I'm Chelsea Denofa. I'm from Vancouver, Washington. I've been drifting for about 16 years and I drive a Ford Mustang RTR Spec 5D. I got started in drifting about 16 years ago and uh, it was just kind of like drifting around in parking lots with friends and trying to figure out what drifting was. At that point, none of us really knew. We were just like, we know we need to spin the tires and steer the wrong direction. So, um, kind of kept growing from there and obviously, you know, that's pretty much where it all began. So going into this season 2019, it's kind of funny because like I feel as though the drivers progressed as much in the off season somehow as they did from like 2016 all the way to 2018. Like all of those events, all of that building up and everything, I would say that the sport and the drivers progressed as much in those two years, three years, as in the off season between 18 and 19 because everybody is just on it. I mean, the last event, there was top 16 qualifiers were like at a 90 or higher. Like I've been on the box number one qualifier with a 93 or four before. In the last event, I had a 96 and then a 97 and I ended up like sixth or seventh. So it's like looking at all the drivers and growing is awesome. Like everybody's absolutely killing it and it makes the sport as a whole work, you know? like. I used to, in tandem practice, be like, oof, I don't know if I want to follow this person. But now, every time I chase, I'm like, oh, sweet, it's this person, oh, sweet, it's this person. Like, it's always somebody who's ripping, you know? Like, 90% of the field out there is like, definitely deserves to be here and is definitely capable of winning every event. So with Formula D, obviously there's eight events a year um, and there's a long off season. But what's really cool and what I, I think one of the best parts of it all is like, it's like being in high school again. Like, it's one of those things where like not every time you go somewhere you can run into like 400 people that you know. Like in high school is the only other analogy I can think of like you know five minutes between classes high five and all your friends and saying hello to everybody like that's how it is at every FU weekend. Everybody helps each other out and however we can make it a better situation for everybody else you know we try to take that advantage and you know make everybody have a good time. Uh, my style is pretty much Maximum wheel speed, maximum amount of throttle possible. I'm a very point and shoot driver, so I'll aim where I'm going, pick up the throttle, and I, even if there's a mistake in between the two, I will just keep the pedal down and do as much throttle as I can to fix it. Um, as much angle as possible, and for qualifying, just making sure I'm on the edge of everything and getting everywhere I need to be with as much style as I can. In Formula D, I think it takes a lot to win. A uh, really good crew to have the car set up. You need a really good car with a really good tire and a really good power package. I mean, I think that's the key to get two laps and do the best you can out there. And then basically it's up to the driver to stay as focused as possible, be as patient as possible, but then show that aggression when you need to.